Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime here at my next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 show episode review. This one's going to be for Season 3, Episode 16, Clash of the Mutanimals. Getting straight into my general thoughts, I just thought this was a an episode. It was okay, it wasn't bad, it wasn't really good, it was just okay. I really don't have any particularly strong thoughts on this episode, just because I don't feel like a lot happened. Like... I liked getting to see the Mutanimals again. I liked that they brought those characters back fairly soon after introducing them as a group in the kind of Take Back New York art just a few episodes ago. So I, I like that they're keeping it out there that these guys are also out there as a group kind of helping the turtles do the set doing the same thing as them. That was cool. Getting to see the those two groups interact again. I like that it, it, it looks somewhat related to the main plot going on right now. As much as I don't like the main plot going on now, the Treaders, after this mind control serum or whatever, he's trying to get it invented, and he tests it out on the, on the butanimals he captures, Raph gets infected and stuff like that, he's testing it out. That's fair enough, but again, it's no, there's nothing really interesting here. There was nothing incredibly emotional about this episode, there's nothing really character development focused in this episode it was just okay here's the basically issue of the week Raph gets uh, the the main thing obviously in the episode was that Raph got infected and turned on the turtles like we've never seen this plot before where the turtles fight each other in the series they went a little bit kind of more uh, kind of intense with this one and that you know shredder tested out uh, the limit of the thing by having raf fight him and then raf and leo had a pretty pretty nice fight all things considering there's a lot of uh, unique weaponry used which was fun enough but um you know i definitely i'm not going to just praise this show just because there were some nice fights we know the show can do nice fights, and arguably, I would appreciate an episode of this show if it just didn't have a fight in it. If it just tried to do something with the characters. Because that's where this show is lacking. It's lacking in terms of an interesting plot. It's lacking in terms of character development for most of the characters. And I just really appreciate it if they finally just said, oh, Hey look, we don't have to have the turtles fight every episode multiple times. We could have an episode where they just, you know, talk. Um, and that's where I feel the show feels a little bit kind of insecure in its placement. That, like, it feels like just to be it, the show that it is, it has to. It just absolutely has to have a fight in every episode. This episode, it made sense that there was a fight because they were going for the whole mind transfer thing. But again, that's been done so many times in this series. Like, um... Again, a lot of these episodes, not very memorable. I don't really remember a lot of them off the top of my head. But, you know, there was the one with the bees, I think. I think the first time that uh, the monkey guy with the, um, <laughs> the powers um, also tried to turn them against each other. Um, there was the thing with the rat king turning splinter on the turtles. They've done it a lot. Even like this book, this uh, season, they've kind of done it once or twice. Um, so it really... Again, I think a lot of people said it felt super repetitive when this was the big thing that Shredder's going for. It makes a little more bit more sense here in that he's trying to control Karai, given that she's kind of this wild, almost animal, like the mutation has really affected her. Um, and we got to see a little bit of Karai here, but nothing like incredibly character-focused. Um, so, yeah, like it was just... It was an episode I felt like, oh... Do you, do you do you do the writers really not realize that no one is ever going to believe that Raph is going to like be turned against the turtles for a long time? Does anyone actually believe that that the turtles are going to kill each other in this situation? That um, that they're not going to find a way to snap Raph out of this? They've done it as I said so many times, and this is the exact same. Now. Maybe it's leading towards something that they seem to get, get across the idea that you can snap someone out of this mind control formula by basically getting them emotional. And now, obviously, the whole Karai situation is a very emotional situation, so um, that may be an easy way for her to snap out of it if that ever comes to, into play. But again, I, I feel like as much as this was related to the main plot, I don't know what it really adds. Like, the test was a failure so what are they going to do get some stabilizing kind of f formula to make it better or 
what? Like, wh where do we actually go from here? Um, because the next episode seems like absolute filler. It's like, what's it called? Mondo Gecko. We're going to get to meet that guy. That just, not really looking forward to that next week. Um, but again, it's one of these things, like, there's 26 episodes in this season. There's still, like, 10 to go. They have to fill that in with something. I understand that. That's this show, there's no way they have like this 10 episode plot that's super intricately put together with characters and events happening that really lead to something big. They struggle to do that. Um, I'm expecting in terms of a build to the finale, like maybe the last five episodes of the, of the season will lead to something. But right now there's not a lot going on. It's The show is really struggling to just do anything that's super interesting. And I, the more and more this, the, as the season progresses, the more and more I'm kind of like, I'm just getting to the stage where like I'm beginning to realize just that this series, this show, Turtles, is never going to be the show that I want it to be. Um, it's not kind of doing any of the things that I want it to do, and you know, it, I'm so I'm. It's one of those things where I'm, I'm often surprised when I see um, a lot of people like be so heavy in their praise of this show given that I feel there are massive, massive problems with it. Uh, the, the prime one that I will always say is just that, where's the character development for the turtles themselves? There's like none of that. They are just in there to be the heroes and to fight every episode. They don't really go through anything. Even Leo, as I said earlier on this season, they had this whole arc where he was injured and then he had to deal with the fact that he might never be the leader again and stuff like that but they didn't do anything with that they just oh he's healed one episode but he's not quite healed oh but now he is fully healed and he's just back to normal again oh and his voice is different and um, it, it, it was it was just they could have done so much with that but they didn't um, and so maybe they'll maybe things will change going to season four where they've lowered the number of episodes and they'll be able to just write a tighter written show um, I think also a big thing with of recent episodes has been April hasn't been in the episodes that much and I think she's a huge part of what makes this show good to me um, so the sooner she comes back into play heavily the better in my opinion um, so yeah it, it's just I hope it gets better sooner rather than later but next episode as I said doesn't really seem like it's going to be anything that I'm too interested in but this episode you know as I said, nice to see the mutant animals again. There were some nice fights, all things considering, um, and at least it's somewhat related to the plot um, that's actually been set up right now. As, as much as I don't really like the plot that's going on right now, it, it was something that was related to it, which was needed, much needed, um, but again, did it really move things along that much, in my opinion? Not really, but in the comments, definitely let me know what your thoughts were on the episode. Um, and definitely, uh, what I really want to know is just, what are your overall thoughts on this Turtles as a series? Like, we're get, we're over the halfway point now of season three. We've had, like, over 60 episodes of this show now. Have you been happy with the way it's been going or not? Like, I was very optimistic early on. And there's been some really good moments, like the end of season two, the finale there was great. But on the whole, I'm just like really beginning to think like this is just a pretty average show. It's n it's not really anything too special. Um, but again, the questions out there, let me know if, what, how you really kind of feel about the show overall and this episode. But uh, thanks for watching this uh, review and bye.